Unit 10. Recording 4. Much of negotiating is in body language and gesture, but it's also vital that you use the right words. So, you're at the beginning of some kind of negotiation. The first thing you want to do is name your objectives. So, you can use a phrase such as, We want to sort this out as soon as possible. This makes it clear to everybody what you want from the discussion. Another thing you need to do is explore positions. What does that mean? Well, it means asking questions like, Can you tell me more about this? What do you have in mind? Exploring positions is all about asking what the other guy wants and then really listening. In this way, you can establish common goals.、Um, so then you need to make an offer. And this is where the real negotiating starts. And the if word becomes so important because your offer is going to be conditional on certain terms being met, concessions and compromises being made. So you might say, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you. We'd be prepared to help you if you help us. And as for questions, again, we can use if. What if? What if we gave you access to this? What if we gave you a helping hand? What if we supported your idea? In negotiating, the word if is the biggest word in the language. OK, a y check that you understand. Negotiations can be long and tiring, but you cannot switch off for a moment. If you missed something, don't bluff. You have to ask about it. Go over the points more than once. Be sure. Ask, have I got this right? Are you saying this or that? If I understand you correctly, you mean this. OK, a y so then you get towards the end game. The haggling is over, it's decision time, and you need to refuse or accept the deal. Refusing is always delicate. You really don't want to close off all further discussion, so you need to be tactful and phrase the refusal carefully. You never just say no. No is a word that closes doors. Instead, you give reasons and explanations. For example, you might say, That's more than I can offer. That would be difficult for me because of my situation. I'm not sure I can do that because I promised something else. In other words, you refuse without saying no. It's at this stage you might want to stall for time or defer the decision, or if you're in business, consult a more senior colleague. The next stage is when you've reached agreement. You say something like, Good, that sounds acceptable to me. Or, great, we've got a deal. But that's not it. It isn't over. You need to follow up the deal. Be polite and civil. Say something like, We can talk about it again and review the situation in a few months. If it's a more formal deal, we can say, Let me know if you have any queries. If there are any other points, I'll email you. The thing is to follow up the deal. Always keep the conversation open.